Hello everybody and welcome back to the long dark. As promised, I put down my bedroll <clears throat> and took a little nap. We are oops, wrong wrong button. Hold on. Uh four hours of daylight left. We're still really tired. Um let's have a quick snack and drink. We're encumbered. I forgot about that. Okay. Um now let's go with whatever is the oldest dusty canned peaches um <clears throat> I don't think we're that hungry let's just eat a candy bar I guess all of our food's actually in really good condition anyway so I haven't done any I went to look online and no luck it's okay um <clears throat> I mean I didn't look very hard so there might be information on the forums to figure out how to get out of where we are. But we were starting to go this way. And see, this does look like another road, a secondary road, because it's got the barrier here. And the houses were over there. What it what is this? Oh, it's a light. Oh, a mine entrance. Okay. Hmm. Um, we did refuel the thing, I think. What's all this stuff? Scrap metals. That's nothing. Okay, I'm not gonna grab any. Okay, so I think I found the way out, guys. Or the way through. Okay, let's go. New location. Number three coal mine. Okay. So let's get out our our lantern. Go ahead and light this bad boy up. So last time we were, went through a mine, it wasn't too bad. But then again, you know. Okay, these always make me nervous. I don't know why, because I'm playing fairly peaceful, so I mean, it's not like something's going to jump out, but it's Um, it's kind of like a horror game. Oh, 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 we gotta, we gotta do this thing again. What is it? This. Oh my gosh. They're using the crouch mechanic a lot in this map. I guess because we don't really have to use it anywhere else. I was like, how on earth are we supposed to get through here? Because I'm like, there's, this has got to be the way. But then there was a wall in front of us. Okay, so crouch. Cool, we can uncrouch now. I wonder what happened if you tried uncrouching while you're in there. Yeah, probably wouldn't let you. Um, there are lights in here, but I don't think they're on. I think that's just reflecting the light of my lantern. Okay, so should we try the stick to the right? Yes, let's, let's stick to the right. And already, I, I think this is not the right way to go. Because this is definitely a cave-in. And there's no place to crouch to climb through that. So, that side trip was short. Luckily, it wasn't a, a long one. Okay. Hopefully, everybody can see okay. If um, I will brighten, bring up the brightness a little bit just to make sure that you can see because YouTube does make things darker and you guys have never complained that I play too dark so I'm assuming that all my adjustments are okay for everybody man this is really wrecked I ugh, I feel like holding my breath just getting through here so we can't go that way okay so is what well, we have to go around this way Okay, so, so far our choices are pretty much made for us. This isn't too bad. Um, there's probably tons of coal in here because it is a coal mine. So, yes, we will come back here for coal when we need it. Okay, here's a little, a little workshop area um, where there are probably some good supplies. I don't know what we need. There's anything we really need, but we'll check it out. 
No, I don't want to place the lantern there. Cancel. I want you to check. I'm so used to like other games where you right click to do one thing and left click to do the other. Ooh, it's only 37%. We'll leave it for now. Matches. We've got plenty. We'll leave it. Plus we're encumbered, so don't want to be grabbing everything just because we can. Uh, that is lantern fuel. I kind of want to grab that. Just because it's short supply and we're using up a bunch of it right now. Uh, no. They actually looked rusty. Hmm. Okay. Uh, no. We ditched our tennis shoes a long time ago. Okay, let's see what's in here. Some coal. Cool. No coal. <laughs> I'm so funny. Cloth. Workbench. Another lantern. A drawer. No, I don't want to place... Okay, I don't know what I did. Oh, I placed it under the table. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. Yes, we'll take it. Good. Wow, that is amazingly remarkable. I didn't know that was even possible. Let's try checking the drawer this time. No. So what happened is I was trying to get the drawer and I right clicked, which placed down my lantern. Okay, so that's about everything here. So we came in here. This is caved in. Okay, so that leaves over here. This is pretty... Um, really? I'm that tired? Okay, maybe I... Um, I was like, I thought I heard wolves or something. You're really... You're really that tired. You can't go any farther. You have to take a nap in the mines. Let's see if we can get out of the mines. Ah, <sighs> before you keep yawning in my ears, woman. I know you're tired, but come on. We've still three hours of daylight left. Ooh. Ooh, this is... This is different. Oh, dear. There's a poor fellow down there. Dude, what happened to you? I mean, can we... Can we reach you? Pry bar, frozen corpse. Um... Duh, I'm sorry. I don't know what Greg... We've probably had a Greg. Um, James? Uh, I don't know. I've lost track of the people we've named Doug. I don't think we've had a Doug, so that would be Doug. Okay. And there could be a pun in that, like, you know, he dug too deep. Du -dum -dum wow. There must have been lots of cave-ins here. Um, okay, another crouchy bit. This is kind of cool. I mean, it's definitely, definitely different using some of that, cr uh, not sprint, crouch mechanics that we haven't used previously, so that's good. It's funny how the rocks kind of like have those white specks, it looks like they're glistening, and I'm like, ooh, there's gold, but it's probably not, it's just sediment. Okay. So far, so good. I mean, you know, we've only had one way to go. We're not getting lost because there haven't been multiple choices. All right, now this... Okay, that's nothing, so we have to go this way. This is kind of big. I feel like... It's like I, I feel like I could hear wind or something. Maybe that's just my own equipment. Okay, sorry if I'm kind of quiet and I'm like listening to the environment. <coughs> Although there's not really anything to listen to. Okay, uh, there's daylight over there. Let's head for the daylight, I guess. So we found a way out. 
What's this? What have we got? Two hours of daylight left. Hopefully, we're um, somewhere where we want to be. I mean, I don't know where that other, the other way went. Let's put out our lantern. We don't need it anymore. Let's put it away. Um. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see where we are. Leave the mine. That's bright out. Okay, so here we are. We're in Desolation Point region. Yay! Okay, so after being in the mine, all that darkness, it is nice to be outside. Um, it is about day... it is about night time though. So this was coal mine number three. I believe it said... Hmm... We've got two hours of daylight left. I guess we start finding our way somewhere. I mean, at least, you know, as far as we can get. I'm tempted to just go ahead and, like, bunk here and explore in the morning. Because it is getting dark. I don't know, and I don't know which way to go. I mean, because it looks like this goes somewhere, but I don't know where it goes. Let's take a peek this way. I mean, there there might not be anything back here. But there might be. I mean, why else would there be a pla way to go? His big logs. She walks so slow. The big logs. Lots of rocks. Brr, climb this. Mm, climb this hill. This her hill. Looks like it's a dead end. Looks like it's a nice little cove, I guess you'd call it. Well, not I, it's not a cove, but like a I don't know, a secluded valley, I guess. I mean, there's things back here like the lichen. And there might be some saplings, or they're just bushes, I'm not sure. It doesn't look like it really goes anywhere in particular. Um, unless you can get through over here. And yeah, maybe you can get through over here. So I don't know where we're going. We're just we're going somewhere, but it is getting nighttime. It still says two hours of daylight left, so there is some sort of KV passage here. Might be worth getting the torch back out, or the lantern. Let's light this up so we can kind of see where we're going. Okay, so it's just kind of a, a rocky cave thing. Not really seeing anything in particular. Just a little exploration area. Maybe it's a possible place for a hatch that I missed. Or just a possible place for a hatch that isn't there. Because they don't place show up in the same place all the time. So... Uh, this is something. It's like a... A truck... a wagon. Hmm. It's definitely something. Alright, it is definitely getting nighttime. I'm going to put my bedroll down and I will see you again in the morning. Okay, welcome back. I spent the night here, I let the fire go out, and now I'm quite cold, but I'm well rested. Well, sort of. My rest went down a little bit. Let's see, there's firewood nearby somewhere. Let's get this out of my face. Um... All I have left is coal. It's kind of
kind of foggy. Well, I guess we'll start wandering off. I mean, not literally wandering off, but like heading out. But I think that's going to be in the next episode. So thanks for watching, guys. I've been Dragon Feathers. <laughs> this is the long dark. I hope you enjoyed the the travel through the the thing. And I don't know how long this episode's been, but yeah, it's morning. I'm cold, and now we're going to go down the road. I see a car down there, and we're going to uh, explore Desolation Point. So tune in next week to see what we find. Bye.